welcome back to my channel today. I hope you guys are all doing well. My name is Mariana. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you my basically travel, what I did here in San Jose. I'm currently not in San Jose. Right now I'm in a different part of Costa Rica, but I filmed an intro actually prior to this. I just didn't like how it turned out, so I figured I'd just do one here. It's a little bit better lighting quality so I can explain a little bit more but yeah so today's video is going to be about me in San Jose and my experience there and if you guys want to check that out don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it always means a lot to me one subscriber always makes my day and check me out on my socials I've been uploading a lot more there in case you guys are wondering why I haven't uploaded here it's just the connection is really bad so it's been hard for me to edit and like upload it just takes a lot more time but besides that, if you want to see my journey in San Jose, keep on. So I kind of want to explain what I really did in San Jose. So you guys going to know what I'm doing in Costa Rica. But the first week I was in San Jose, I actually was volunteering. I was teaching English with my friend that you've been seeing, that you will see throughout the video. Um, but I really loved the program. It was something I've always wanted to do, especially the fact I'm taking a gap year. If you guys are new here, I decided to take a gap year after college before I go to law school. It was like the focus on the LSAT, which I did bring my book so I could keep studying while I'm here in Costa Rica. But yeah, the program was just very nice and I just like definitely made everything a lot better than I expected it to be. It was definitely just like a lot of like an eye opener for me and just having that experience. Um, I wish I could do it longer, um, but with me studying for the LSAT wise and this length, I only could do it for a certain period of time and I also wanted to explore different parts of Costa Rica while I'm here. Um, so yeah, that's why I couldn't do the program a lot more longer yeah and a lot, not a lot more but it's definitely a program i will definitely use in the future i went with ivhq which i'll like link them down below they have so many programs you can do internationally and i highly recommend them you will meet so many nice people and just like the people they work with are just amazing and i definitely recommend them um so yeah so i have some pictures and videos that i did throughout the week i did tours um i didn't really film me volunteering just for like out of respect but I just yeah the whole program was really nice so this is pretty much a video of me what I did throughout the week there's not a lot of me talking just because again I didn't film during the program but going to different spots I did try to talk with a lot more of just like my surroundings but my next video of me going to my different spot in Costa Rica is going to be a lot more of like a vlog style La Fortuna and we are about to start hiking but I want to show you guys this waterfall. just got finished swimming at the waterfall and we're just looking over at a different part of the waterfall. How did you like the waterfall? It was very cold but amazing. <laughs>
So I know I haven't really talked in the videos, but today's my last day in San Jose. I'm still Jose's picking up the pieces of this puzzle. In Hakko, but tomorrow I'm going to go to Copenhagen and I'll start a new vlog and there'll be more talking there just because I was going to go to the hospital. But yeah, but so I'm going to really enjoy my first week in Costa Rica. Hit the road and I hit it so fast. Give me something to believe in.